All right, this will be a video of the thoracic cavity model that we have from lab. Um, let's get my pointer. So we have the lungs here on either side, and then the heart, and then the diaphragm. Um, this white part here of the diaphragm, it might look odd to you, this is actually called the central tendon of the diaphragm. Um, you can see there's a lot of different openings going through the diaphragm um, that you should know um, coming out of the thoracic cavity. Um, and I should mention those first because that is uh, this model probably shows that the best. So we recognize this is the thoracic cavity. And to get through the thoracic cavity into the abdominal cavity, you have to go through these openings in the diaphragm. Um, so here we're looking at an inferior view. Um, right here we have the inferior vena cava coming through the caval opening. And then this one right here is where the vagus nerve and the esophagus come through. It's called the esophageal hiatus. Um, that'll be coming through there and the esophagus will then uh, attach to the stomach. And then here's where um, the abdominal aorta will come through. Um, it's going through the uh, uh, aortic hiatus. So aortic hiatus, esophageal hiatus, and caval opening right here. And this is all the diaphragm, and this is the central tendon of the diaphragm, okay? And you here we just have um, a, the last thoracic vertebra right here. Okay, now let's open this up. We're gonna take the lung, the left lung out. Um, now we're seeing inside the lung, so like on this, this side of it, you're seeing a bunch of um, bronchioles in here that we'll learn about later, as well as, as many different vessels. Um, so we should know what those are. But let's start up here at the top. So at the top, you're going to have um, your uh, superior vena cava is going to branch off into the left and right uh, brachiocephalic vein right here. And then it will branch into the internal jugular vein. This is the left internal jugular vein. This is the right internal jugular vein is about to branch off there. That means this is the left subclavian vein, and this is the right subclavian vein. Um, in the back here, um, so this is the aorta, and then the aortic arch. So this first branching coming off the aorta is the brachiocephalic trunk or the brachiocephalic artery. Remember, there's only one of those. And then that means this one right here must be the left common carotid artery. And then just behind that, I hope we get a good view of it, that must be the left subclavian artery. Um, and here we're having, you have the um, right ventricle. So that means this right here is the pulmonary trunk. Um, so that means that this right here is the pulmonary artery, blood is going away and into the lung and then branching out, um, getting oxygenated and then coming back through the superior and inferior uh, pulmonary vein back into the heart, into the um, left atrium. Um, I guess we can take this off too. Oh, look at this. So and then we're seeing some branching. The pulmonary artery will then branch off a little bit more. You're start starting to see that branch. And then you're starting to see the pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood back to the heart right here. This is the esophagus. It'll eventually go through, through the esophageal hiatus. Here's the um, abdominal or the descending aorta right here. It's about to go into the abdominal cavity. Okay, you can look at the the heart piece that I have here. This is a very old model, um, but you can still see a lot of features. Um, let's see what we want to do. Oh, okay, so look at the posterior side. I think that's the most useful thing. There's that part of the aorta coming out. Here's the superior vena cava. Um, then you're having the pulmonary arteries and then the pulmonary veins, superior inferior pulmonary veins. Um, and then I, I would recommend not really using this. I mean, yeah, you can see a lot of features, 
um, but I recommend using the um, heart model uh, as a guide um, rather than this model. This is a little bit old and outdated, um, but we can definitely see a lot of other features that are pretty good on this model, um, especially all those uh, passageways through the diaphragm from the thoracic cavity to the abdominal cavity. Okay, so that's this model. Good luck, guys.